Today is a good day, as you all know, I'm sure. Uh, 21 years since D2 came out, and 20 years since the expansion, Lord of Destruction, came out. We asked, they delivered, Diablo 2 resurrected, remastered, hit in the shelves, God knows when, 2021, that's all they've confirmed. My guess is the fall, maybe Christmas time, and uh, it's about damn time. So I actually didn't even see BlizzCon live. Uh, I was out all day, I had stuff to do, but um, sure enough, I had friends messaging me, giving me updates, bringing me the good news. And this is something that was discussed within the community for a while now. Um, I remember 2019, people were anticipating maybe a 20 year release for the following year, and nothing happened. And then 2020 happened, which was the 20 year release of D2. And we're like, all right, like, you're going to bring us the goods, and nothing happened, and now it's 2021. The 20-year 20 release, or 20-year anniversary of Lord of Destruction, the expansion. And so maybe that was the whole uh, plan all along, just to accumulate D2 and the expansion into a remastered version. And I think if you're someone who works at Blizzard, you've probably seen Path of Diablo, Median, um, Project Diablo 2 especially recently. The amount of players that have signed up just to get that uh, feeling back, just to get the gameplay back that they fell in love with for years and decades. And I'm sure that's been a huge push for them to actually go through with this because they know the fan base and the player base is there. And so myself, like many of you watching, I'm sure, have been playing a very long time, uh, since I was about 10, around 2004, 2005. And if there's any new players watching, uh, welcome, glad to have you here. But it was actually my neighbor who showed me uh, Diablo 2. Him and his brother had copies, they play all the time. I got a glimpse, and funny enough, one time, funny story, uh, I live in Canada, so it's super icy in winter, many months of the year, and I had my copy, and uh, it was a Friday, long weekend, I was like, we're just gonna bail all night, no school tomorrow. And so 10 years old, ready for a sleepover, got my D2 discs, there's two houses down, I was running over, slipped on the ice face first <laughs> into the ice <laughs> my disc smash well the case is smashed the disc just fell out and got scratched to hell ran home cried it out uh <laughs> wiped the bloody nose or whatever and uh assembled my cases and discs and ran over like an hour later and we just bailed all night long and we still play diablo to this day uh however many years later now i have a bet and a prediction which by all means, roast the hell out of me if I end up being wrong. But I genuinely believe when this uh, remaster comes out, hits the shelves, the online market releases, it is going to be one of the top trending uh, Twitch games for at least like the first couple weeks, maybe a month. And I don't mean like the very top, like Warzone and Fortnite, but it'll be like top 15, top 20. So I think that sits around 20,000 viewers because there's going to be a ton of streamers who are maybe bored with their current game, who are going to switch over because they used to play this game. For example, Tim the Tapman, one of the biggest streamers, switched over to Warcraft Classic when it re-released, I think last year, and consistently had 50,000 viewers, and he was a Fortnite streamer for how many years? And uh, really brought a lot of attention and acknowledgement to the game, which I think would be fantastic for the community. So that's very likely to happen. If it doesn't, come back and roast me. I'll happily take it i may be thinking with my heart instead of my head but that is my prediction all right we're done with the long drawn out intro i just wanted to give a bit of insight as to why i'm stoked and why i think this is going to be really beneficial to the community so now we're going to look at the actual website for d2 resurrection uh, we're going to look at all the notes and the update uh, patch notes and stuff like that see what's changed and we'll talk a little bit about everything that they've uh, showcased <laughs> Alrighty guys, we are on the D2 Resurrection website. So as you can see, right when you get here on the homepage, you can opt in for, uh, it's basically open beta, potential open, open beta or uh, testing beta invite. So you can do that with your Blizzard account or you can pre-purchase, uh, which I will be doing shortly. Right off the bat, this is the coolest part. PC, Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 5 and 4, as well as Xbox Series X and S, cross-platform, uh, play so that's huge 
I know they do it with D3. I have no idea how you're going to play Diablo 2 with a controller, but um, I mean, the options for that is absolutely incredible. I'm not going to play the trailer. I don't know what I can and can't show, and I don't want to get flagged as a new channel. So you guys can watch that on your own time. And the little intro, yada, 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 fight the denizens of hell as you uncover the fate of prime evils, Diablo, Mephisto, and Bale. Now up to 4K resolution on PC. Another cool upgrade. So we have remaster graphics, monsters, heroes, items, spells, all resurrected. As you can see in the videos, everything's updated. It looks really smooth, looks really clean. Um, items as well. I know there's things a lot of people, especially in Project Diablo 2, people complain that Shaco, when, when you put a Shaco on, it makes your whole face green. I've never cared, but maybe, maybe now it'll just be an actual green cap and not look like a whole green face. Uh, classic gameplay, the same Diablo 2 you know and love, uh, but preserved. So it's the exact same game, five acts, quests, same bosses, etc. Plan support for cross progression, take your progress wherever you play. So you can have the same account on multiple various uh, consoles or PC. All you have to do is buy separate copies, of course. Epic story told through five distinct acts, like I said before. Updated Battle.net support, which is great. Uh, that's something that was definitely lacking as the years went on. And much more. Lord Destruction Returns. D2 Resurrected includes all content from both Diablo 2 and its epic expansion, D2 Lore of Destruction. Battle your way through icy caverns, horrific tombs filled with undead abominations, and frozen wastelands to the frigid summit of Mount Ariat and stop Bale, the Lord of Destruction. Raise hell with two Lord of Destruction playable classes, Assassin, Druid, as well as the classic classes. Word of the Dark Wanderer, some little uh, D2 news and updates I'm assuming as time goes on. So we're going to look at the classes now. It's the same as D2, but way more interesting looking. They actually gave some faces and more aesthetic to each class and each character. So we got the Amazon, of course, got the Assassin, Necromancer, Barbarian, Paladin, the detail in the armors there, got the Sorceress, and the Druid. Looking awfully Neanderthalic, if I do say so myself. But really cool, lots of detail in their clothing, their facial expressions, their hair. Basically just, I mean, it is what it is, right? Upgraded versions of the old stuff. So cross progression, like it says, bring your characters and loot across all supported platforms. Like I said, PlayStation, Xbox, PC, you can have the same account and characters as long as you sign up with your Blizzard account and link them all together. Exhumed gameplay features. So let's look at the revamped ladder seasons. Same as old times, except totally revamped. Can we click that? Yes, we can. 3 billion, 520 million. It's probably the top 1,000. What else do we have? Redesigned user interface. This is nice. So you get the little, uh, we get the advanced stats like we have in Project Diablo 2. Rather than having to manually add everything up, which was always a nightmare. And they updated the uh, character stats page just looks much cleaner bold and clean the xp that's pretty cool and lastly the expanded stash so more space for more loot the original personal stash has been expanded and we've added a shared stash tab so you can spend more time slaying demons and collecting loot and less time managing it all interesting i wonder if that's like pluggy at all or if it's just slightly enhanced so personal stash increase from six six times eight to ten by ten slots uh grid and a shared stash tab available to all characters on a single Bnet account. Transfer gear easily between heroes, no mules required. First of all, I mean, look how, like, look at that crown. That looks amazing. That is so cool. The runes look great. So, personal stash and shared. I mean, not to sound greedy, but if that's the shared, then it's just an extra page, one extra page to share. I mean, it's nice, but I could imagine myself still muling right just to have the personal page as the mule but it is an upgrade nonetheless and there we have the inventory that looks fantastic same 4x10 it's gonna be really hard to go back after having a pd2 stash but i mean everything looks great that's really sick bring your own army resurrected features cooperative gameplay supporting up to eight players so that's really cool on console still eight players i was really annoyed that d d3 only had four players per game so that's good and it's going uh, downwards instead of across. That looks really cool. 
That cold plane's probably stony field. Cool. And that is it. So I skipped over one part of the website because it made my computer overheat like crazy for some reason. But it showed the side by side comparison of Diablo 2 and the remaster with video footage of the same areas and the update and how they look now compared to the old version. So I highly suggest you go check it out. Blew my mind, especially the uh, Luke Lane Act 2 video uh, with the assassin running around. I think it looks phenomenal. And overall, my thoughts are. I like that they kept it simple and subtle, um, they enhanced the graphics, they didn't touch the game itself, it doesn't seem they touched the lore or any of the quests, the acts, the bosses, just aesthetic upgrades and engine maybe, it might just be the same that they overlay all this stuff with, I don't know how it works, it's the same game, just looks better. And that's what I'm really happy with, I'm happy that they're going to change the aesthetics of the items. The monsters, a lot of the monsters need a, a fresh upgrade. Your character needs a fresh upgrade. Um, when you see the side by side, you realize how choppy and mechanical uh, regular D2 looks. Overall, I'm just really pleased. I'm excited. Um, like I said, it's probably going to come out towards the end of the year. So until then, we can keep hoping and playing Project D2 and regular D2 and just having a, a good old time, you know? So as for now guys, smash that like button, sub to the channel, and let me know what you're most excited for with this new remaster. Maybe you're not excited, maybe you're just looking forward to D4. Uh, I for one am super stoked, so have a good one guys. Cheers.